Hello and welcome to Access Winchester. Harry Parkhill beams up his favourite space films, the preview of their paintballing experience. And Jack Webb gets festive Winchester Access style. But first, the annual Winchester Short Film Festival has begun. Emma Jeffries takes a look around the art cafe where the event is held. We're here outside the Art Café where Winchester's Short Film Festival is being held. Come through and have a look with me. We're downstairs in the Art Café where the films are being shown. Anyone can come in and they're playing all week so come in and have a watch. Just need some popcorn. Well, it's quite an intimate um, venue. Uh, because it's an open um, festival this year, so the title's Anything Goes. There's so much talent yeah. um, in Hampshire. We're just drawing on other people's talent. That's what we're about, really. Yeah. This is Emma Jeffries for Access. So, it's nearly that time of the year again. The festive adverts are on, and the Winchester Christmas lights are going to be turned on this week. Jack Webb takes a look at what Winchester could look like if Access Winchester had a say. King Alfred is a stern man with a strong beard, but he looks like he needs to loosen up a bit. Christmas is a time of a month-long feast, and the Hampshire hog is looking pretty nervous. At least he's not a turkey. It looks like Winchester Guild Hall is a perfect setting for a new Disney film. Everyone else is praying for a snowy white Christmas, but the cathedral are really hoping for some draft control. The parking fines in Winchester are already a nightmare. It looks like they don't even want Santa to be able to land here. No one wants to travel 63 miles to get to London. You'd rather travel half a mile to get to Santa's Grotto. Jack Webb for Access Winchester. Merry Christmas, a month and many days early. As the 3D film Gravity sweeps away cinema goers countrywide, our film critic reviews the film and gives his best and worst sci-fi films review. Space, the final frontier. Endlessly enigmatic and alluring, it has unsurprisingly spawned numerous films about it, of varying quality. So I'm at the cinema to see if the latest sci-fi phenomenon Gravity, a 3D film starring Sandra Bullock, makes the cut. Let's take a look. An homage to the greatest sci-fi films, Gravity deals with intelligent themes using groundbreaking technology, excellent performances and the chilling eeriness of space to great success. But what are the best and worst sci-fi films? Well the worst is undeniably Battlefield Earth. It's widely regarded as one of the worst films ever due to its excessive use of slow motion, its convoluted plot and dire acting. Believe me, this is one no one should be seeking out. 1979 film Alien shows that horror goes hand in hand with sci-fi as Sigourney Weaver is terrorised in some of the most tense scenes ever put on film. It's gripping, it's frightening, it's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> to me, the best space movie ever is Stanley Kubrick's pensive but masterful 1968 film, 2001, A Space Odyssey. Although not driven by action, the film is I full of striking and eerie imagery. Open the doors. It's a must-see. Dave, this conversation can serve no purpose anymore. Goodbye. Space may well be the final frontier, but avoid aliens and oxygen starvation by enjoying its allure with these top movies. Harry Parkhill, Access Winchester. And finally, prepare yourself for adrenaline, action and lots of mud when our adventure team plunges into paintballing. from Access Winchester this week. 